Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm finally gonna be sharing with you the redo makeover that we've been doing in my daughter Caroline's bedroom. When we moved into our house two and a half years ago, we really didn't do much to her room. We added a dresser from Ikea and a few things, but never really took the time to decorate. So we've been spending the past few weeks doing some DIY projects and just having fun putting together a really cute room for her. One of the major problems that I wanted to address in her room was the size of her bed. She had a full size bed and my kids play in their rooms, that's their main spot for playing, so it just really wasn't a lot of play space. So we decided to move her down to a twin bed and I love that decision. Any of the products that I'm showing in this video, I will show you the links below. I've also done several DIYs already in the, my past two videos and all of those videos will be linked below so if you're looking for something just check out the description box one of the things that I really wanted to get for my daughter in this room was some Betty's bedding if you guys are not familiar with Betty's they have just the best bedding concept there is. So I reached out to Betty's to see if they would like to partner with me for this video and they sent me one of their cutest pink ruffle bedding sets for Caroline's bed. What makes their bedding unique is it's all in one. So you basically put the whole bedding set on the bed and fit it under like you would with a fitted sheet. But the cool thing is at the top there are zippers and you can unzip it and inside you basically, it's like a sleeping bag, but it unzips all the way. So you unzip it, you have your blanket inside and the bedding is super comfortable. And then the best part is when your kids get out of the bed, they can zip it up themselves and make their bed so easily. I love this concept. I think it's perfect for a kid's room and I know it's gonna be so easy for Caroline to make her bed. The set also came with two pillows and then I just added a decorative pillow. Okay, so you guys have probably been wondering about the wall behind the bed, and that's where I made a huge change in this room. This room was already painted a light gray, and I really liked the color of the room, so I didn't change the overall color. But I've been eyeing on Instagram all of these wallpaper type rooms, and so I priced out doing wallpaper versus doing a painted stencil. So the wallpaper to do this one wall in my room was going to be around $250 and the stencil I bought with shipping was around $50 so I kind of figured that the wall stencil was probably a better bet for me so I ordered this stencil from Cutting Edge Stencils and I was so surprised when it got here how big this stencil was. I mean it was a really good sized stencil. The way you want to stencil a wall is you start in your top corner where you have clearance. So on one side of my room I had a window so I didn't want to start there so I started on the other side in the top corner and you just use painters tape to hold it in place. Next, you're going to put on your paint. Now, I think that these look more realistic when you use multiple paint colors. So I decided to use a moss green to roll on all of the leaf colors in my stencil. Then for the flowers, I got three different shades of pink paint. And these were all colors I had on hand, but I just decided to use these three colors and I just kind of mixed and matched them. And I also used my stencil brush to dab the paint on. Then from there, I added some cream and tan to the green parts and some to my flowers, just to give it a little bit more dimension and make them look a little bit more realistic. 
Now this whole process took me around four hours to complete, which I don't think was too bad. I was able to get it done in an afternoon. The hard part for me was after I got everything done, I had to go back in and add some stencils to the top and as well as the side. And with the size of the stencil, it was kind of hard to position it, but you know, I was able to get it done and it wasn't a big deal. I definitely think it was worth saving the $200 versus getting the wallpaper because the wallpaper would probably be difficult to put up as well. If you guys are interested in my stencil, I will link it in the description box below. So to finish off my floral wall, I added in a pink mirror. I showed you in my last Trash to Treasure video how I put this pink mirror together. Essentially, I picked it up for $5 at Habitat for Humanity and painted it with that ballet slipper pink color from Waverly. If you'd like to see how I did a DIY on this, I'll link it right here for you guys. Here's a look at how my wall turned out. Next to my bed, I added this big round nightstand and I also showed you how I did a DIY on this. I painted it with some Waverly paint. I used the ballet slipper as well as the Waverly white paint. And I love the way this piece turned out. The reason I am using this nightstand is because I really wanted a place for my daughter to put her books. So I thought this nightstand would be a great place for her to put her books and it was kind of a nice little statement piece beside her bed. To decorate her nightstand she had an existing white lamp that we kept and then I hit up the Hobby Lobby 75% sale and I got this little white container and I'm adding in there some pink and champagne color flowers from Walmart. I also grabbed this little book from Hobby Lobby and it opens up and I thought this might be good for her to put little things by her bedside. And then on top of there, I have one of these aqua candle holders from Dollar Tree. So what sparked this makeover initially was my daughter had this really small table in her corner and that's what she used for coloring and all of her arts and crafts. She didn't have any storage so I really wanted to get her a desk. So I've been looking for probably the last two months for a desk that I could redo and I've looked at the thrift store and I never really found what I was looking for. Well one night I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I found this desk and I thought it was awesome and it was only $20. So we went and picked it up and I knew that this would just be so cute painted white. So I painted it with two coats of Waverly white paint. Then from there, once everything had dry, I sanded it off with my electric sander. Next, I sealed it with a clear water-based sealer. To dress up my knobs a little bit, I spray painted them with a dark gray. It looked too perfect to me, so once I had them installed, I did a little bit of white paint on the top just to make it look a little bit more distressed. Mm -hmm. 
So for $20, my daughter has a brand new desk that I think is adorable in her space. So above the desk, I really wanted to add an Ikea pegboard system. Hey guys, so I'm at Ikea and I'm picking out stuff for the pegboards. I wanted to show you what I'm grabbing. So we're gonna get these two of the 30 by 22 white pegboards. These are $16.99 a piece. And then I'm also gonna get three of these. These are the shelves, I'll show you what they look like. So they're like little shelves that you can put up here for like decor or just whatever you want. And then I also grabbed two of these and these I'm going to use to store like paper and also like um, crayon books, things like that on her desk area. I also grabbed four of these clips to like hang paper on. They only had four so we got what we could get. And then we also got some containers for pencils. I'll show you those. These little white containers are going to hold like pencils and crayons and stuff like that. The IKEA pegboard system is really easy to install. I just installed two 30 by 22 pieces on top of each other above my daughter's desk. Next, I'm just going to put in the different accessories that I bought. So for the bottom area, I wanted it to be functional, so in the cups I added in her crayons and markers. This green chalkboard I actually picked up at the Target dollar spot for $3 and I thought this would be cute for her to uh, do chalk and different things. These really cute gray picture frames here, I redid these in my last Trash to Treasure video, I'll link it right here. And these picture frames cost me 25 cents each at a garage sale and I just think they look really cute sitting up here. Now for the top portion, most of these things are just going to be decorated. These little side holders are great for notebooks or coloring books, so I added in a notebook for her and also some loose paper that I had just picked up at Walmart for her to use. By the Ikea desk, there's another wall that has a hook system on there. I love this little hook. I've had it since I lived at my old house. This was actually in our laundry room. We put this up here and she likes to hang things from it. So we kept that in place. We decided to decorate it a little bit with some more things that I grabbed at that Hobby Lobby 75% off sale. So above the hooks, we decided to add two of these really cute little pictures from Hobby Lobby. I got these for $8.79 each, which I thought was a great deal. So we hung those above the hook system. Below the hook system, I thought it'd be cute to do a scrapbook banner. You just wanna grab three or four pieces of scrapbook paper that are in a similar color palette to your room. Next, you're going to cut them down into triangles. From there, all you're gonna do is use your sewing machine and you're just going to sew them together. So I go down about a half inch from the top and I sew them together and then I just add in another and another and it makes a really cute little banner that you can hang in your room. Now, if you didn't have a sewing machine, you could always add string and tie them together, but this is just the easiest for me. Next, I'm going to add this cute little container from Hobby Lobby and some succulents from Dollar Tree. I 
also wanted to put together a floral pillow. I picked up these cloth napkins at the thrift store for a couple of dollars and I thought they would be perfect in this space. To make a pillow, you're going to take the fabric and put them facing each other, pattern side facing down. Next, you're going to use your sewing machine and sew around three of the sides. Next, you're going to take the pillow and flip it right side out, and then you're gonna stuff it with whatever extra pillow you have on hand or whatever you're covering. Then for me, what I do is I close up the edges with some pins, and then I just sew in on either side as far as I can. This pillow is pretty full, so I wasn't able to sew all the way. And then to finish the pillow off, I just hand sewed it together. From there, it was just time to add the finishing touches to the room. This cute little tan stool I picked up at Home Goods recently, and I just think it adds such a cute little touch. Along the wall, I took some really cute pictures of my daughter, and so we framed those up in 11 by 14 frames. If you'd like to see how I created these frames for a couple of dollars, I'll link right here to the video where I'm making these frames. And then on my daughter's dresser wall, I really didn't change very much. I made this cute little caddy for her to keep her little reader books in, and I'll link to that video right here if you wanna see how I made this caddy. But I just think it's a cute little thing because she likes to keep those books out on her dresser. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how we decorated my daughter's room. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And if you've missed any of the videos that I've been talking about, everything will be in the description box as well as any of the products that I can link to that I used in this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.